Oh my god, are people upset? I woke up this morning and my entire DM on the Twitter was filled with negativity. Like, V, how could you have done this atrocity? You suggested a game, but did you not do the research? Did you not find out who the lead writer is? How dare you, V? You're just as bad as Kotaku. And I'm like, what on earth has happened, man? Like, what did I do? Did I cause another world famine? Did I, did I cause fascismus to rise in the West? What, what am I guilty of? And apparently, like, okay, look. This is hilarious. Like, this is why I'm making the video. Like, I, I actually like the feedback. Because it shows people are engaged and people are passionate about what I do here. But calm the hell down, please. All right? Like, you, you're overreacting. All right? It's a little bit hilarious. So, yesterday, there were a lot of trailers that came out. And I said, you know what? I am filled with negativity. My heart is pouring with venom. The, the channel that I have is called Lack of Entertainment. It's too depressing. Let's do something nice. You know, let's look at the trailers. And I will see. Okay, I like this trailer. I like this trailer. And then I will show the people something that I liked. And for some weird reason, like, it blew up. Like, the, the Space Marine video, it got 40,000 views. 40k. I expected that the Sonic one would get more, to be honest. But alright, you know, like, I... I, I take what I get. I'm not going to complain. It's good. People like my stuff. Who's going to complain about that? But if you listen to the actual video, like it's it's literally in the first seconds of it. Just listen to this. Now, I have no idea if the game is actually going to be good. But what I do want to say is that the trailer actually managed to capture the essence of what makes Warhammer 40k great. How else am I supposed to communicate? Like, it's literally in the beginning. Like, I have no idea if the game is good. I'm not telling people to buy it. It's literally a video. Hey, this trailer was nice. And the reason it's nice is because it actually understands the lore. So I'm actually excited about the trailer. That's literally what I said. How else? Like, do you want me to take a plane ticket and fly over to your house to sit next to your computer and go like, Bro, bro, I'm not saying that the game is good. Bro, listen to, look at me when I, look at me when I'm talking to you, okay? The trailer is good. And no, but V, the ideology, the po The trailer is good. <laughs> Do you disagree that the trailer is good? No, the ideology... The trailer is good. <laughs> is it bad? No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I get it. You know, like I get that people are like generals in the culture war and they're moving the pieces on the board. And it's like, this YouTube channel is to say this and that YouTube channel is to say that. I get it. Alright? <laughs> but the trailer is good. <laughs> what do you want me to do? The trailer is good. Someone made a good trailer. It is good. Objectively, it is good. Like, if God came on Earth and God is the absolute truth, he would look at the Warhammer 40k trailer and he would give it the thumbs up. You, you would see the God with the big beard, Yahweh from the heaven. The God of the Jews and the Muslims and the Christians giving you a thumbs up. The like, yeah, guy, it's a good trailer. Objectively. I created the universe. This trailer, de facto, like there is nothing you can say about it that is bad. It is a good trailer. Now that doesn't say anything about the game. Like what? Are, are you telling me that in a, probably a decade since you've been playing video games, you haven't seen a game that has a good trailer and the game is bad? Or vice versa? Are, are you actually going to look into my face and you say, yeah, ju just because the trailer is good, the game is also good? No! That's not what we're saying! Jesus! So, apparently, the one of the lead writers that's going to make the Space Marine 2 game happens to be a transgender Canadian woman, which is also a left-wing activist. And was posting that all cops are bastards and whatnot. So I suppose that if a person feels that cops are bastards, how are they going to do justice to the space marines? Look, I don't know if the game is going to be good or not. All I said that the trailer is good. Now, does it mean that the game will be bad? I don't know. I can't predict the future. I need more information. I need to see gameplay. I need to see a little bit more of the story. 
I'm not telling people to buy the game. For the love of God, I'm saying the trailer is good. That's all I'm saying. Does that mean people should be skeptical? Yes, but now you live under the era of Steam, under the era of Game Newell. You can buy the game, you can play it for an hour or two, and if you don't like it, you can get a refund. Now, by the way, I, I get the opposing point of view. Like, if you're an ideological person, and, you know, you love the police, and you support the cops, and you're like, okay, I don't want to pay money to a company that hires a person that says all cops are bastards. Okay, then I respect that. You know, like, it, it, it's your money. You get to do with your money whatever you want. Like, no one has the right to talk about how you spend your money. Just like a progressive person can choose to boycott Chick-fil-A, you can choose to boycott this company because they're hiring people that are of a different ideology than you are. Like, why, why would you fund an ideology that you disagree with? I perfectly respect that, but that doesn't change the fact that the trailer is good. Like, even from what I know, like, progressive people would admit that the Chick-fil-A sandwiches were good, but they didn't want to buy from there because of political reasons. If that's the case, state it out. Like, make sure that people understand why you are against the company, because then people will think, like, you just don't like the company because of the product. And then you're confusing the company. No, like, your message needs to be clear. I, I don't want to buy from this company because it hires people whose politics I disagree with. And, and that is perfectly fine. You know, my private company can do whatever it wants. My private consumer can do whatever it wants as well. So that is understandable. But don't come to me, to moi, to my kitchen and get up by Tushi because I said that the trailer is good. Because you probably believe that the trailer is good as well. Alright, like, let's be honest. Not a single person told me, V, you lied. The trailer is horrible. No, the trailer is good. It's just that because of ideological reasons, you don't want to buy the product. And I understand. But hey, but also understand that I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I want video games to be good again. If I see a video game that's good, I tell people that the game is good. If a game is bad, I tell people that the game is bad. If the game has people in it with a bizarre ideology, I talk about that as well. Because at the end of the day, I think, and, and I know this is condescending in current time, but I think that you're an adult with a brain of your own, and if you're capable of buying a car, you're probably capable of buying a video game and making your own decisions whether you want to support the company or not. I just give you the information. So I will tell you, okay, the gameplay is good. The story is great. I personally like it. But what I find bewildering is that there are not a lot of people, but very few people that, that think that I need to tell my subscribers whether they should or shouldn't buy a game. I know this is very condescending, especially in today's day and age, but I want to treat my subscribers as adults, as rational human beings that can make their own decisions and how they spend their money. And, and not only that, but I can't mind control people. I know it's a conspiracy theory by the left that YouTubers mind control people and they send harassment brigades and whatnot. I can't convince people to click that thumbs up button. I can't convince people to subscribe. What on earth makes you think I can convince them to purchase or not purchase a game? But why do you think that, like, do you think I'm their mommy? Do you think I'm their daddy? Do you think I give them allowance money like Patreon? No, I don't do any of that. I have no control over people. The only thing that I can do is to show something that I personally like or to show something that I personally dislike. And when I boycotted a game like The Last Battlefield, I explained why I don't like it. I explained that the business practices are way over the line. And I don't want to support that. And I said, look, I'm not buying it. Please don't gift it to me. If you have money, do not give this gift because I will refund it. And that was it, right? I don't care if people buy it or not. I, I can't, like, even if I wanted, even if I wanted people not to buy Battlefield, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I can't fly over to your house and spank your hand whenever your mouse reaches to that purchase button. It's like... Stop it. No, it's bad for you. I can't do that. Okay? Your mommy and daddy can do that. Talk to mommy and daddy. And, and tell them not to allow you to buy Battlefield. Because I don't have the same power. Like your mommy and daddy does. And I'm not mommy. I'm not daddy. All I'm doing is making a YouTube channel to entertain people. 
and to hopefully, you know, sometimes, that I say, try to make an entertaining video that is about something that's good and not just negative things. So I appreciate the people that sent me a message in DM. I talked with each and all of them. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, elaborate a little bit to tone down people's expectations of what I do. I just want to entertain people. I'm not starting a political movement. We're, we're not doing anything like that. And even if I wanted to do it, I don't think I have the ability. I'm not that charismatic. I don't, I don't think I have the ability to convince people to do stuff. Simply because uh, I can't convince them to hit that subscribe button, as I mentioned before. Let me know what you guys think, though. Uh, was I exaggerated? All right, I need feedback. I'm insecure over this because usually I, I don't have the conversation. And uh, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Take care.